wonderful examples of intimate, small, subtle, beautiful. These are not that. Um, and so I want you to take a look at these. And I have uh, last last year, about a year ago, when I knew that I wanted this work to get large, I've got a few examples of smaller. Uh, they need to be big. What I do is I design, I need to build a processing system to do this, OK? My sink is 16 feet by 36 inches. Mm. Did not want to have trays, open trays, you know, boom, boom, boom. I could fit them, but the logistics of handling would be untenable. So what I did is I designed a, uh, this is a little technique, I know, uh, but I had to figure this out. A single processing tray where the chemistry gets fed in from one side and goes out the other and gets re recovered. Um, it makes it efficient and it makes it effective logistically. Um, so this is, these are, are uh, I, I guess, I'm not sure, uh, Steve, you were in Dover, uh, you know, the show in Dover. I, I had a bunch of, a bunch of this work in, in Peter. Um, so these are, these are 30 by 40s. And I get the paper that I, that I get, which is available cut to 30 by 40, is uh, Ilford Classic. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm using. But, um, and these are, they're mounted on two ply. And I've, when I frame these, I frame them in wooden frames. The frames are, you know, it's tipped into, uh, on a four ply, I've got, I've got two over mounts that go over these. So these are just, you know, transportable as two ply. So my mission between now and June is um, before I did this, I, I had to make a test for feasibility to see do I really want to do this? It's a lot of work. Do I really want to bring it up this large? So what I do is I take, I make a composite print by taping multiple sheets of just like an RC paper together and using that as a single piece and then taking them apart and then processing. So uh, by June, I need to have three more of these as 40 by 60s. All right, so I've got, so I've got uh, here, I've done this one. Oh, I've, I gotta tell you something about these two prints. This is on Star Island, which is off the coast of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, anybody, anybody been to Star? This here, okay. Small, it's about 400 acres. Uh, there's a, like a, well, it's a colony basically. There's a conference center with, uh, you know, there's writing and art and yoga and all kinds of stuff. My wife, who is a nurse practitioner, does a volunteer gig out there every, every fall for 10 days. This will be our 10th year. Uh, so this, these two are on Star Island, um, and if you look at this one, this is a formation called East Rock, and I'm standing to get this one. This is the view from East Rock. There's a little shelf right there. I'm about that tall, I'm looking back, and that's that's this view. Uh, I've had to adjust my press anticipating doing something twice this large because I'll have to do it in four bites. And unfortunately, what's happened with a couple of these, you might notice there's some separation along the edges. I'm not too concerned about that right now. Uh, the, the, the prints that I have in Rockport, um, since I signed them on the two-ply, uh, I will have to fix these, but anyway. You know, John, I, re I really think asking us, at least asking me, to look at a 30 by 40 print a foot and a half away from it, I, I can't form an opinion that's a positive opinion. Um, I know your image is from that size. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's luminosity and, and life in that image right. that I it's don't quite see in that image. Okay. If I saw this from across the room, yeah. I might have a different opinion. There is something that, there is an opinion I have about these two, and that these are good examples. Uh, there is something that I'm losing here. There, there is a. Uh, I'm sorry about the plastic. Uh, there is, there is a subtlety of tone here. It's a little. This is a little strident. I, I understand that. 
I find that I kind of, it works better. Uh, I just did this one a few days ago, and unfortunately, I was doing my dodging and burning, and the cardboard was a bit small. I, a little bit too much light snuck into that. So I like, like that. I still have that loaded in the, in the enlarger. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that when I get home again. Um, so it's I, I actually like your the, These are These are all, let's say four by five, uh, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, and four by five. This one has an anomaly here. I need, I, I'm gonna recut this and then remount it because I've got this shadow. I, mm -hmm. I, I masked the top and I got the shadow going around the outside. So that, that I'll get rid of and, and re, remount it. You, you don't think this image would stand up there? You know, if, if we put something in front of it? It might. Even this one horizontally might stand yeah. you know, this, better. This is RC and it's technically it's not where it needs to be. So I, I think as a guide print for this one, you probably want to use this in terms of what my goals are technically for that one. To this print, but I just I really needed to see this. You said you're using a horizontal and larger? Uh, no, these are actually, I'm using a vertical, I put a hole in the ceiling. Uh, I was actually able to uh, to purpose a, a 150G Claron, which is wonderful in the hunting lens actually, but it's run right. Uh, I, I built a horizontal, I, actually I built an 8x10 enlarger years ago and I have re, I have chopped it and it's on its side. So. this is is that everything it's there, there are all kinds of scaling problems and there's also cost but I buy in this size it's 850 bucks for 50 sheets and I really try to get it in one I've got my small you know I've got the big tank to the left of the tank I've got four tubs of chemistry two gallons I'm doing all my tests like four or five hours of just testing and uh, I owe uh, Hera Highland in Germany, uh, my debt of gratitude because his LED light it was it was breathtakingly expensive, but for me I need the consistency. Uh, it can't wander. So these are all split grade. I'm using a, a blue and a green, and uh, allows me to get into the shadow of here. Um, you know, using a lot of blue right here, a lot of green down here, etc. Hard to, because that's bigger, but it's further away from you. I don't know if you want to come around and look at it, but that's kind of where this is going to go. Again, I've, I've cut some off the edge there. So, give us an idea of where these images are likely to be displayed in, in what kind of a okay an expanse. Okay, so this gallery, it's uh, it's right next to the Farnsworth Art Museum on Main Street, and. Uh, just big walls. I mean, they, he's got the space with good light, and uh, these will uh, th these stand up very well. As well, I'll, I'll do three of these. Um, these two will work at the entryway on both sides, and I think this one, this one's going to be one that I'll I'll put at the back wall. Um, so, so what you're saying is that these are small. You're getting to the light. You're, you're not you're not big enough yet. Well, uh, I think I think for just the oceans of seven ocean images this size, ultimately they'll, they'll be that, that size. So, is this a brand new level of, of enlargement for you? Yes. And they're backed up against the June deadline. Yes. For for me, I would end up um, not giving the best quality that I could. That's 
Well, the, the well, fall. I don't know. Do you, have, do you are you in a dark room every day? No. Or do the, you the, well, the fallback is that if it doesn't work, the gallery is very cool with that. Uh, they're, they're excited about it, but it's not the end so of the world. So you have other imagery you can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah, supply. Yeah. And uh, uh, I started there last fall. I started very late. The town kind of died after it was like October. And so he said, look, we'll, we'll, give, we'll give you most of the summer. So I'll be up there most of the summer. I'm going to change some of this stuff out anyway, but, uh, but I really am going to try to get the, the larger images if I can. This size so, looked good in there last year. Oh, you, you, yeah. you saw it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that gallery really supports the size. Um, I'm scratching my head. Um, can you explain the motivation, justification for wanting to do that thing? I mean, given all the problems and and in, in, in the space, I mean, you're, you're limited to fewer prints. I have, yeah, and there and there's so much, you know. Again, and there's been, a lot of, I get all of that, and um, uh, I think when I'm out in this landscape, I mean, I think part of the motivation for me goes back to when I studied biology and geology at Rochester. Uh, and then I had a friend in, uh, at Dartmouth who taught geology, and we started talking about, you know, kind of primordial stuff, you know, uh, origins of things. And the, for me, the ocean is the, the interstice, it's the, 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 the tidal thing means a lot to me because there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of process happening there. And when I'm out there, it's, it's chaotic and it's beautiful and it's serene, but it's like completely energizing. And I just, I'm just out there and just having, just having the best time. Um, and uh, I, I go back to this place every year. It's always different. That oh, times out, cloudy, a bit of a wind, but not too much. Maybe I got to go check this place out. You know, there's something there. Mm -hmm. uh, the tide here happened to be a record low. You almost never see it like this. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing with obviously because these rocks over this is a three minute exposure. They're covered part of the time, and they're not others. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna read this. this is a little hot here, uh, but I, I I keep I keep liking it. Um, you're beautifully done. It just uh, you kind of limit yourself in, in terms of where you can show this stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah. And and that's not that's not what's driving me. Right. Okay. I'm lucky to right. get this, but I just have this sense that the time is now. I need to take these large. There's something that I feel embraced by this. It's uh, I'm an epiphany junkie. You know. And the first time I went into Death Valley, uh, I, I would like to redo this one again. I think I might get a little more. That's a little sweeter in some ways, but. Uh, there's just something about the scale and the space that uh, it just works for me. It's just a, a, a big print. I have a, uh, I started this with 60. Uh, that's 20 by 30. It's getting there, but I just knew, and Steve, you're so right. I mean, it would be great if we could put these all up on a wall. Um, because you don't quite get it when it's when you're looking flat. In, well, um, in speaking to Steve's comment about time and um, technicality and yeah, everything, yeah. and I know this is going to be sacrilege, so please do not burn me at any stake. Um, but would you be comfortable with going digital? Like just scan it in, print it. Printed on some really right. That would be, I mean, I would need a year to get, I mean, I'm, I do some digital work on the, on the learning curve. There's no way, I mean, um, also this is just what I do. I, I, and it's, that's a hard thing because digital, I mean, it's gotten to the point, I remember I gave a gallery talk in 2015, I had a show in Portsmouth, and, uh, you know, I was still kind of on my high horse, you know, I really was. and. Privately, I, I still kind of am. I, I, but digital has gotten to the point now where I think the technology, the message that I, I tried to give then, but I got into a little bit of my own shtick, the technology itself is so fascinating and compelling that it tends, it tends to be like your Alice going down the rabbit hole. And, it's, and you're kind of missing out on stuff, visceral stuff happening in the air. 
uh, that, and I know having taught for many students over the years who, the youngsters who have never picked up a film camera, suddenly you look at them in the dark room and they, they're working with light. You know, they can relate to it. Um, so, to further go down that rabbit hole though, yeah. Well, silver and have them printed for you and laser on silver. Silver just from silver. And it's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. stunning. Yeah. You, you, you get exactly yeah. everything. There's you something know. about having somebody else do it that I would have a very hard time with. Sure. Extremely hard. There's something about, I don't consider, for me, it's not over until it's never over, but. Linearity, uh, I'm, 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 I'm working with it through the enlarger. I just need to be there. You want to have that control. That's all for yeah. yeah. You want the energy that you want. I'm going to go help other artists. I'm sure if I can do that. I'm going to rely on a lot of I did, uh, back in the day, uh, I did everything. I did 30 weddings a week, which put food on the table and it bought, it bought me time. Uh, I, I'm thankful for that. I segued into journalism. I worked over in Africa for a foundation uh, with a little Leica for a few years. Uh, I've, I've just sold my Leica gear. I'm selling out, and this is this is kind of I've been doing this all along. Uh, you designed your own camera. I built I do, I built my own cameras. I built yeah. all my own large cameras. I've done eleven different cameras. Uh, the latest one has a patent. I think it's at Steve's house right now. But, Did you use that camera to take these photos? I apologize. I used, I used that camera with a five by seven back. Drafted a five by seven back. This one.